What's up, Internet? Hey, so a couple days ago, I posted a picture on Instagram. Um, here's the picture here, and this is a whale jumping over me on my surfboard. Uh, here's the thing. When you surf every day, and that's my goal, is, is that I surf every day, you encounter things that you don't expect. Um, you think about somebody who just drives for a living, they're going to encounter more <laughs> You know, they're going to get pulled over more than other people. And they're going to, you know, they're the people with the dash cams that get that crazy footage because they're just on the road more often. And so I've lived a crazy life. Some pretty crazy stuff has happened to me. I mean, we've lived on a boat. We had a baby in the car. And then again, our second baby was born in the car. And so there's some pretty unbelievable stuff that's happened to me. And so, you know, it didn't really surprise a lot of people when they saw this photo. And it went pretty wild. I mean, really got shared quite a bit. And I, I really just want to thank everybody for checking in on me. I got a lot of care texts. Even my boss texted me to see if I was okay, which was really nice. Um, here's the thing. I'm fine. Uh, I know everybody wants to see the video. And so we're going to we're gonna watch that in just a second. Uh, but I just want to let you know I'm okay. I thank you for caring about me. And uh, yeah, watch this. So right away, the surf session isn't like every other surf session because I'm not right next to the pier. I went south down to Cortez Street, uh, which is just a little bit south of the pier, and I was surfing in it. It was a good time. I was a little further offshore because the break's a little bit deeper out there, and at first I really just didn't have any idea that anything was wrong. I was, I was having a great time. In fact, I remember I was super stoked because I was surfing in a hat, which is like something I wouldn't normally do, but the surf wasn't huge and just having a good time. I'm out there by myself, which is rare because I'm more of a social surfer, but when I have the GoPro with me, I feel like I'm not alone because I can share it with people later. So I'm riding a couple of waves. It's generally just a good time. I'm having fun. It's, it's warm out. You know, I'm just wearing a wetsuit top and a hat. <laughs> having a good time and I remember paddling into this big wave and I did this kind of just drop. I, I dropped to the right and I remember it kind of shelving up a little bit. And so here it is kind of in slow motion and then I felt this bump like on the bottom of the board. Something didn't feel right and I remember losing my balance and kind of falling back and then <laughs> okay, wait, wait. I know some of you are super pissed right now, and others of you feel super vindicated. Um, here's the deal. My Instagram account, for me, it's just an artistic expression. Just like I surf every day, I spend a few minutes every day editing a photo to put online. And uh, just sort of had this burst of creativity when I saw that picture of me wiping out. I was like, oh, what would be something funny I could wipe out from? I had no idea people would think it was real. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a, a graphic artist by any means. In fact, it's not even Photoshop that I use because I can't afford that. I use this program called GIF that's like a free version. Anyway, uh, I had no idea that it would go so viral. Uh, essentially what happened was I think some people realized it was a joke right away and they just thought it was hilarious to like propagate this idea that it was real. And so they started posting crazy stuff that they'd seen whales too and all this stuff. And it just went on and on and I just kind of let it go partly because it's just like Monday is my my kind of Sabbath and I try to take a break from electronic stuff and partly just because it was so hilarious I mean I've been just dying <laughs> for the last couple days uh, just watching everybody completely freak out it just it's so funny to me so I hope it's now funny to you and here's what I would ask that you do um, you can repost this video, but first, I like don't leave a comment that's like, I knew it was fake, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what I would really encourage you to do is leave a comment like, I can't believe it's real, because that's gonna make every, now you'll be in on the joke and you can watch everybody get tricked into watching the video and then freaking out that it's not real. So I hope that you'll do that. I hope this was fun for you. It really was for me. I've been like laughing for two days now. It's just so ridiculous. So guys, here's the deal. Some stuff does happen to me that is crazy and is real. And then other times I just post stuff I think it's funny. I mean, the time that I pretended that Liam got x-rayed at the airport, like, that wasn't real. It was hilarious, you know? Uh, and most of the time, people catch on right away. Uh, this one was just so funny. So, whatever. I hope it brought a smile to your day. I think that you don't need to worry about, you know, <laughs> killer whales, you know, being pissed and out in the, you know, Pacific Ocean off Imperial Beach trying to eat you or whatever. Uh, it's so funny to me. This whole thing is so hilarious. It's like, oh, the whales are pissed. They saw blackfish. And they're not fish. They're men and they're more angry than ever. I, I don't know. It's just so funny. So you guys have a great day. You are awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. You guys are the best. Have a good day.